Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today we're going to do something really cool. I'm going to show you how to quickly use sum and sumx in Power BI and what is the difference. So here I have some data for store sales. Doesn't matter what the company is or how many stores they have. That's not the important part here. Uh, here you have eight store number and sales. Now that's your typical data I have here is I have period, district, cluster, city, um, and uh, trips, week, number, year. What I'm looking at is sales, right? And what I want to do is I'm going to show sum and sum x. So I've got these columns right here that I've added, calculated columns. So I already have sales, but I don't have sales sum. I mean, I do now. I'm going to show you how to build that. And then how I get sales of sum x and uh, where we bring that in versus the sum by itself. So if we take a look at this, and I bring this this way so you can see it a little bit better, you have date, store, sales. Now sales sum, let's take a look at that. This is the total of all the sales, right? And then what I did was I put it in every row for the same number. Why did we do that? Because if I want a percent of total, okay, I need that to get this. So let me show you how we do this. So sales of sum, this column right here is just the sum of the sales column. That's it. That's all it is. Sum, the uh, table is called 2014 and 2015 sales, and then it's the sales column. So I have that once I do that. Now, next is the next column. Once I have that is the percent of total. How do I get this? So let's go here. Let me show you. What we've got is the 2014 and 2015 sales, the sales column divided by, see it right here, the sales sum that we just created and then multiplying that whole thing. See, I have the parentheses in front at the end of it times 100. If I don't do that, I won't get the percentage correctly. So once I do that, I end up with this if I put that in this column. See that? So, and I've got now everybody's data is different. So, with this data being the sales are so small compared to this, I have to have five decimal places show it correctly. Now that if you notice that was all with the uh hold on here let's click let's bring it back again. There we go and let's click this. There we go. So you see we have used the sum right and the sales column times 100 but we've not used sum x. I'm going to show you why and how we do that. So now we've done that next column here is called sales sum x of filtered unregistered. So now the difference is, see, when I use sum, I'm not filtering anything. You notice that I was just doing the whole column. If I want to use a filter inside of the sum uh, function, then I need to use sum x. So let's go and look at the next column, which is a sales sum x, filtered, registered, or unregistered. It doesn't matter which one I can pick either. It doesn't matter. I think the next one I had here was unregistered. So let's pick them up first. They're both the same way. So if you look at this, the first part is just the name that I call it. So you quickly know it's sales sum x filtered unregistered. Unregistered would be people that haven't registered, and registered would be people that are subscribers or uh, long-term customers. So look at how I build this sum x filter, and then I've got like you saw before the name of the uh, table, right? It's 2000 or file, whatever it is you're bringing in 2014, 2015 sales, then what I've got is I'm looking at comma status. See the status here. So I'm bringing, I'm looking at the status column. So this, what I want here is where. So I want this filtered, this table filtered where status equals unregistered. See that? So and you have to get this exactly right. If the spelling is slightly off, uppercase, lowercase, spaces, whatever, it has to be exactly correct. And I have comma, and when it's filtered to unregistered, I want sales. That's how the uh, sum x works. So you see right here, sum x filter of the table for the filter column in the table, comma, and then what I'm bringing back, which is sales. That's how that works. So once I do that, I have this. So what that does, it brings it back. Instead of having all the sales, now I am summing the total for just the unregistered. And then I do it again here for just the registered. So obviously we have a lot more customers uh, that are registered, which is good. 
then we have new customers. That's a longer term business. A business that's been around a little while uh, versus if it was a brand new business, obviously you'd have a whole lot more of the unregistered than the registered. So this is a well-established business. Now, the same thing goes here. So if I do sales of percent of total two, now I'm bringing back, instead of the sales sum, the sales sum X filtered unregistered. It sounds like a mouthful, but it's really not. So if you look at this, what I'm really doing is I'm looking at the percent of total, right, based on sales, then based on the unregisters when I filter it to that, what is the sales percent of total, okay, based on that store. So if we bring down the total number of total sales to the unregisters or registers, it shows you the percentage based on that. See how I did that? So basically it's the same thing. All I've got here, we can go this, through this really quickly is we got sales sum, right? Because we already have sales right here. What we do is we created sales sum, which is just the sum of sales, which gives me the total for everything and puts it in that column. That's what we did here. Just like that. Okay. Next, what we did, once we did that, and we put we added that column in. If you want to see me add the column in, that's all it is here. See it? Sales sum. Same thing you see here makes it kind of smaller and harder to see so we have that then we get the sales percent of total which is this and at this point we did not use some x yet right because that's the total sales we're not using a filter to only a certain portion of the sales that's when we were going to use some x or have to use some x so we use this which is divided by this the sales divided by the sales sum times 100 then next we use the sales sum x that's where you filter to something so in this case i'm filtering it to where the status field equals or status column equals register so i'm only bringing back registered customers and i'm only bringing back the sales value for those customers if you look at this okay so that's how that works in the other column where i use sum x i'm bringing back where they're unregistered so I'm div divvying it up into registered and unregistered. Now, there might be others in between, so they may not totally add up to what you see in the sales sum based on, you know, are there blanks? Are there other things? Are there people that have different uh, statuses? Okay, but I'm just bringing back two different statuses, one for each of these columns. So once you do that, you can see here, sales sum X filtered unregistered and sales sum X filtered registered. So if I want to see the portion of this sales, Compared to the sales sum, I get this, the sales percent total. But once I bring this back, I have now based on unregistered and based on registered. So I can see the percent of total, of complete total, of the total unregistered, and the total registered. Okay? That's how it works to use sales sum, or I mean to use sum. And then sum x. So if you want to do a sum, you can use it anywhere you want to sum a column, just like we did here. If you want to use a filtered column, you want to make it so it's for a whole row, it's very easy to use sum x, which is what we did here. Hope you found this interesting and informational. You'll use this a lot in Power BI and business analysis. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day.